Okay, hello everyone. Guys, we'll take a look at test number one here. All right. As the first question is matching. All right, I'm going to suggest this. Why don't you start with the one that's in factored form? Guys, remember, factored form looks like this. It's like two linear binomials multiplied together. So look at all of these right here. Which one looks like that? Which one looks like this right here? Okay, eliminate that one. Then I'm going to suggest you go to the one that's linear. Remember, these are two linear multiplied together. All right, so that's a, that's a quadratic. This ends up being x squared, even though it doesn't show x squared. When you multiply them together, you get x squared. It's a quadratic. This is factored form. But linear just has an x. Remember, it looks like that. It just has an x. So find the one up here that just has an x. All right? Then I'm going to suggest you take the cubic. One of these is not a quadratic at all. It's a cubic. It has an x to the third. So look up here and find the one that's x to the third. And drag that one up there. All right, now you only have two left. Guys, they're both quadratics. Remember, standard form has three terms. It has three terms. Something x squared, then an x, and then something with no x, the constant. All right, that's the y-intercept. All right, the one that, that is in vertex form is the kind of the weird one. It has like an x minus something or x plus something inside parentheses with a square. And then there's a plus k on the outside. Again, that's the vertex. All right, there's probably a number in front here multiplied. That's vertex form. All right, you should be able to find those, okay? All right, guys, number two, you have to match the quadratic with the vertex. Now, all of these up A, B, C, D, the, the top four, are in vertex form, all right? So remember, sometimes the H is zero. So this just says X squared. So H is zero when it looks like that, or when it looks like, looks like that one right there. It's just X squared. All right, h is zero. I'm just talking about the top four, not the bottom one yet. All right, the bottom one is different. All right, and sometimes the k is zero. So there's no number out here like adding or subtracting at the end here, like this one. k is zero. There's no k out here at all. Okay, like this one. There's no k out here at all. And remember, look down here, guys, h, k. All right, the h is the number in here by the x. If there's no number, it's 0. If there's a number, then that's the number. All right, the k is the number that's hanging out at the end here. All right? If there's no number hanging out at the end, then k is 0. Now, this one at the end is different. Once you do the top four, when everyone's left over, it's this one. Okay, I'm going to turn off the camera, and we're going to look at this one right here. Okay, hello, everyone. Guys, we're back online here. And I just want to show you this is the same problem we're talking about, number two. Guys, this last one right here, if you want, and you can do this for all of them. You can just copy this and go to Desmos and paste it in there if you want. All right, remember that weird thing that happens with that x2. you got to make it x squared. Okay, use the keyboard, there, like that. And you can click right there and see what the, the vertex is. One, negative two, all right? All right, let's look back at number three now. All right, guys, select the correct graph of this function right here. Yeah, why don't you just copy, paste it, and look at it. Copy, put it in Desmos, all right? And you got to be careful of that x2. Make sure it's x squared. They're beautiful. It's upside down. The vertex is a 2, 2, it looks like. Yep. 
So go back to the test and find the one that looks like that. Okay, I see it. All right, next, number four. Same thing. Select the correct graph of this function. Why don't you copy it? Go to Desmos. Put it in there. And make sure you get the square in there, right? Right there. Okay, so there's the graph right there. All right, so find the one that looks like that. Looks like that the vertex is at negative one, negative one. All right, I think I see it. Yep. All right. Next, number five. Select the correct function of this graph. Let me just look at number five. Okay, guys, I'm going to stop this. Okay, hello, everyone, again. Guys, this is question five we're looking at. It says select the correct function. Guys, remember the y-intercept, C. That's where it goes through, through the y-axis. So look at where it crosses the y-axis, negative one, right there. So which one of these is C, negative one? All right? Do it like that. Let's look at the next one. Again, which one of these is the correct function? All right, guys, and this time you can look at the vertex right there. That's HK. Now, what is that? Negative 2, negative 1. All right. So it's negative 1 is hanging on the end, so it's either this one or this one. And, guys, negative 2 inside means positive 2. Negative 2 right here means positive 2. All right. Again, you can actually put that in Desmos to make sure. But you have to put all of them in, you know, to look at it. All right. Guys, that's it. Go ahead and complete question 7, too, and you'll be done. Thanks.